Hey everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you. So today I'm back with the another interview question, which is very interesting question and very common interview question you can say. So in this table we have two columns, ID and number. So okay, so the ID is representing every number against the ID number and ID one is representing one, ID two is representing one, ID three is representing one. So the question is, who find the numbers who are consecutively repeating three times in a row? Okay, so this is a number column as we check, uh, the number one is repeating three times. Okay and uh, the num uh, number two is not repeating three times the number two is repeating only two times so we have to find these three rows who are repeating three times in a row okay so in our output uh, i would like to see the id column and number column and uh, the one two three rows okay with the uh, number values okay consecutively one 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 all right so how can we achieve this output so for that uh, it's a very simple logic and a trick you can say so we can generate some ranks here okay how to build the logic so let do let some generate some ranks okay and uh, mix partition make partition over number column okay and make order by with the id column okay partition by okay all right so here we have the number column and we have the uh, DN okay so let's order by ID okay so these are the ID and these are the number and these are the dense rank okay so we have given some ranks to the number column okay so now what we're gonna do here okay, subtract the ID with ID column with the DN column okay will generate a few differences the and th on the basis of those values we will make a groups we will create a groups on the basis of that difference okay so we will rename this column as a diwf difference okay all right so we have these we have this value 0, 0, 0, 3, 1, 4, 4, okay and uh, the difference is same the number is not changing because the difference is same here so the number is not the number is same okay so that means the number is repeating consecutively so as you can see the difference is zero 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 so that means the number is not changing so the number is same so that means the consecutivity of the number is same okay so now let's create a CTE here and we'll make a group okay select from CTE okay and CTE dot ID difference will create a groups of these different uh, column values okay and create accounts all right and group by diff all right I'm looking for that uh, difference which is not more than three because I am looking for the number who is consecutively repeating three times. So that means I am interested in this. So this is not repeating. This is repeating three times. Okay. So having count greater than or equal to three. Okay. So I got this output. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll uh, create another city and uh, with the help of that we will join and we'll get our output our desired output all right select strict from ct okay so let's give the uh, count hash okay cte select from cte2 All right, CTE2 and will connect with the another CTE where CTE dot ID equals to CTE2 dot sorry 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 we are going to with difference okay so we are matching with the difference okay so now we'll select the columns CTE dot id and cte dot number okay so that's how we got this output okay so we got the three rows okay so as per the requirement let's check the original table 
series one. Okay. Yes. So we got the first three rows, or those rows who were consecutively repeating. Okay. So with this help of query, we got this output. Okay. So that's how you can generate the rank values, ranking values over the partitions, and we can subtract with. The, if if we didn't have this value, for example. What we gonna happen if we don't have the ID column? So we can generate the row numbers. Okay, so we'll generate two columns, first for uh, ID and the second for the dense rank, and we will minus subtract those uh, ID in from the rank functions. Okay, and we'll make the partitions according to the column. Okay, so we'll create the uh, differences, and according to the differences, we'll create a groups. So those who are repeating consecutively will join with that original table. Okay, so that's how you can achieve this output. All right, so hope you guys understand this. And if you didn't like, uh, if you didn't understand, so just comment to me. I'll create a better video than this, so we'll give you more clarity on this. All right, so hope you have learned something. And if you like the video, just please subscribe. Okay, so thank you so much.